This is Star Talk. At Bernard3 on Twitter. Uh, Gavin said, I wasn't giving Twitter any love, so let's go to Twitter. Uh, here's what he says. People emphasize negative aspects of uh, climate change, but are there any foreseeable positives? Hmm. Well, oh, so let me, let me give you one. Please. Right? Um, so, so I'm English. And, uh, oh, do you know? Uh... <laughs> I do. Yes. 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 We're, we're, we hang out all the time at the palace. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, uh, and, and for many years, many years, uh, you know, there, were, there was such a thing as, as English wine. And there was an old joke in, in Victorian. English wine. Yes, in the Victorian uh, period that it would take four people to drink English wine. One to drink the wine, two people to hold the person down, and another person to pour it into their throat. Pretty funny. Ah, very troubling. Yes. Okay. But now it turns out that there are more vineyards in, uh, in England than there have ever been in history. And in fact, the, the uh, you say history champ- about over 500 years, oh, the, the, thousand years. Thousand years, yes. Thousand yeah. years. We have, we have records of vineyards in England going back to the Doomsday Book uh, uh, over a thousand years ago. Um, but there's more now. And the wine they're producing in blind tastings against champagne actually wins. So, so oh, wine quality in, in England uh, is actually now on a par with the best that the French can produce. Boy, they're gonna, the French people are going to be unglued so, about that I, I, situation. I, absolutely. So, I, <laughs> so, so in fact, uh, the, the champagne companies are buying up uh, swaths of uh, what are called the South Downs in, in the UK because they know that the, the temperatures in Champagne are now at the limit. So if it gets much warmer in Champagne region, uh, they won't be able to make as good champagne there, and they're thinking about moving their production to the UK. So, so they, that they, will be a foreseeable a benefit cooler. For English wine drinkers. The UK is a little cooler. In, yes, it's a little bit further north, but it's very similar soils, very similar terroir. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, now it's, uh, it's, it's actually happening. So there's your answer, Benjamin. Uh, the positive will be you get to piss off French winemakers. <laughs> well, what it means, but writ large, is agriculture is going to change. That's exactly right. So, so you're seeing the same thing in the US, right? So uh, Napa Valley, where we're producing a lot of great wine now, is at the limit of how hot it needs to be. If it gets much hotter, it's going to be hotter. So production is moving to Oregon, Washington, uh, Washington State. Yeah. There's some excellent, excellent wines that are really emerging there. And, and that's and part British of and British Columbia even, yes. So, I mean, I tasted wines in British Columbia maybe 20 years ago, and the, the same joke would have been true then. <laughs> right. uh, but now they're actually... They're, they're actually so agriculture is going to change. The whole problem, everybody, the way I see it, is it's how fast it's changing. Yeah. We have an interstate highway system. We have trains in Britain for uh, carrying produce to market or carrying produce to the the winery where you're going to make the grapes into wine, for example, or the oats into oatmeal or what have you. But we're not set up to have that, all that production move farther and farther north or farther and farther from the equator, and rain patterns are changing. Yeah, I mean, for, for, for niche things like vineyards, you know, they're pretty much on the ball, and so they, they, they pay attention to these things and move things along quite quickly. Mm-hmm. But your bigger problem is, is the staples, not, not the luxury goods. You know, right. uh, wheat, corn, uh, barley, uh, soybeans, all of those things are affected by... Uh, Better known as food. Food. food for most of the world. Yes. <laughs> Straight up food. This is Star Talk.